Hi, and welcome to Talk Straight Bible. I'm your host, Jeremiah Santinetti. On today's Bible nugget, we're going to be looking in the book of Acts, chapter 4, verse 12. And it reads thus, And there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. I want to ask you a question. Have you ever heard the term, no one else can do it like that person? Uh, you know, I was watching some of the, um, a while back, some of the food, uh, you know, um, shows where they have different people from all over the country doing their special entrees. And no one can do it like they do it. No matter how much you try, you can't copy it. It's very unique. Well, you know, salvation, when we talk about Jesus and salvation, we have to understand that the fingerprints, as we know, no one has the same fingerprints. Everyone is different. Our voice print is different. If salvation can only come by one person, Jesus Christ, how come we act as though we can do it ourselves? Think about it. There is no one else that can bring salvation. But then we feel that we have to interact and do something to keep our salvation. When in fact, if it says no one else, you cannot include yourself. Jesus is the only one that can bring salvation. Do you also believe that he's the only one that can keep us in the salvation? I do. After studying the scriptures vehemently, I've come to the conclusion, according to the word of God, that Jesus is my savior and he has to keep me. Nothing else can keep me. All the knowledge that I have about the Bible cannot keep me. It helps because what I know helps me to live right. No one else can do anything for me to save me. It says here, and there is salvation in no one else. That means if I try to produce something or you try to produce something to help that salvation, it is no longer no one else. It is Christ and us. And folks, that can never happen. If you want to become part of that saving power, you have to die on the cross. You have to shed your blood. You have to take the punishment. You have to be put into a grave. And you have to be resurrected by your own power back to life and sit at the right hand of God by your own power. Then, it, then we can change the scripture and says, and there is salvation in Jesus and someone else. But it says here, there is no other, sal there is salvation in no one else. Why am I stressing the point? I'm stressing the point because, or rather, I'm stressing the scripture. Relax, take it easy. It's not you doing the work, it's Christ in you, the hope of glory. Colossians 1 27. The hope of glory is Christ in you. You have no power to save yourself. You did not get up one morning and say, today I'm going to get saved. It doesn't work that way. Christ drew you. The Father drew you to the Son by the Holy Spirit. And he gave you to the Son. And the Son blew his breath of life into you. And you became born again. Praise God. Listen. And he filled you with his Holy Spirit. And again, if you want to become part of this Savior, this salvation, you not only have to die, resurrect, and go sit at the right hand of God with Jesus in equal power, but then you have to also be able to send the Holy Spirit into the hearts of those that believe in you. It doesn't work that way. <clears throat> Christ is the only one, and I'm going to read it again, and there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given men by which we must be saved. Folks, when you enter into Christ, you enter into your full salvation. 
And he has to keep you. How many times that you, you, you did something that you know was not right and Christ intervened? How many times that happened? You didn't even ask him to intervene. He is your savior. He is the one that saves you even when you don't want to be saved. There are times that you, you just want to give up, you know, throw in the towel. I'm tired of walking this life. I'm always getting persecuted. I'm always going through this. And along comes the Holy Spirit through someone or speaks something to you or says something to you. Or God puts something in your path that renews your strength. That shows you that the hope in you is the hope of glory that cannot be diminished. You could say, I had times when I went back and I really messed up. And who brought you back? You didn't bring yourself back. Christ brought you back. I've heard so many people talk about, I fell and I did this. And I said, who brought you back? Well, Jesus did. These are people who believe they can lose their salvation. And yet they, they, they listen, they, they testify that Christ brought them back. You're going to be hearing a lot of this later on because I'm going to do a whole segment on salvation according to the scriptures. So this is just a taste. Hold on, folks, because you know what? This salvation comes from no one else, only Christ. If you believe that, praise God. If you're having problems believing that, search the scriptures and see for yourself that God is the only one that can save you, keep you safe, and take you to heaven safely. God bless you. Have a wonderful spirit-filled day. And know that your salvation rests on Christ alone. There is no one else. God bless. <laughs>